Hi everyone, another big topic area you need to prep well for for paper three is that of a weak exchange rate, the micro macro effects of a weak exchange rate, but also micro macro factors that can cause an exchange rate to depreciate, to weaken. We're gonna cover both in this video. Make sure for all the big topic areas in paper three, you're doing this on your own. Micro macro effects or micro macro causes, policies, reasons, whatever it might be for that given topic area. There are videos galore on the channel to help you watch them all to make sure you're doing it independently. But for a weak exchange rate, let's dive in first with effects. On the macro side, certainly we can go to, in theory, current account improvement. A weak exchange rate that makes imports dearer, exports cheaper, will develop a chain of analysis to the current account balance improving. Take that one step further. If that gets you to higher AD, higher X minus M, higher AD, that takes you to higher growth and lower unemployment, major macro effects. There is a risk of inflation though from a weak exchange rate in two ways, the demand pull inflation risk, but also the cost push inflation risk as imports are dearer, it's more expensive now for firms to import their raw materials or any inputs from abroad, driving up cost of production for them and thus cost push inflation. But also you've got the potential benefits of inward FDI. Yes, foreign firms might see this as a good time to invest in a different country if their exchange rate is weak because startup costs will be low. And when that company does set up, they'll be able to tap into the benefits of a weak exchange rate to boost exports. But with micro effects, you can worry about the impact of higher cost of production for firms who import their raw materials or any inputs from abroad. Will this mean lower profit? Will it reduce reinvestment? Will it mean higher prices? These are all micro effects. But also the risk of domestic firms becoming inefficient, complacent as a result of a weak exchange rate. How exports naturally become more competitive and imports become less competitive, thus diminishing competition. All of that, as long as the weak exchange rate lasts for a long time, can breed inefficiency for domestic producers. But also you can worry about the impact of foreign debt burdens for firms and governments who often have uh, debt to pay in foreign currency. A weak exchange rate makes those burdens higher, makes it harder to service those foreign debts. So you can worry about the impacts of that for firms and for the government. What about factors here? Well, macro factors that weaken an exchange rate directly can be a current account deficit where import expenditure is greater than export revenue. That implies more supply of the currency than demand for it, thus putting downward pressure on an exchange rate. But also a current account deficit that's wildly unsustainable can mean panic selling of the currency in capital flight weakening the exchange rate that way. More generally, just poor macro performance. Yes, that can be a large current account deficit, but it could just be you know, low growth, high unemployment, high rates of inflation. It could mean very poor government finances, all can mean panic selling of a currency capital flight as a result of pessimism or a lack of confidence in how a country is doing macroeconomically. Low interest rates we know can promote hot money outflows from a country. Quantitative easing is a direct increase in a country's money supply and thus can weaken an exchange rate. Outward direct investment. As firms leave a country, they're going to be selling that currency and converting to currencies they're moving to, weakening the exchange rate, but also speculation within the financial markets, making it a macro effect that a currency is likely to fall will mean sell it now and buy it back if speculators are correct. By selling now, that is weakening the value of a currency, but within financial markets, forex markets, making it a macro effect there. What about micro effects? Well, these are rooted in just basic demand and supply factors. So anything that means lower export demand, so maybe that's you know lower incomes abroad or a movement away in fashion or taste, anything that just means lower export demand will mean lower demand for a currency and weakening it. But anything that means higher import demand uh, when we buy imports, we're buying in foreign currency more supply of the domestic currency, weakening its value there. So anything that's leading to higher import demand would then be a micro factor there or a micro reason there. So there you have it, guys. All the micro macro content you need to know for a weak exchange rate. Make sure you're doing this for all the topic areas in paper three. A video is out there guiding you on what those topic areas are. Make sure you're watching all the other paper three videos on the channel. But most of all, work independently. Do this on your own. You'll be set. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in future ones.